Oh my God. Do you see what that is? Do you see what that is? In a scrapyard? We were called by the scrapyard this morning and told that they were about to scrap this. A 2000 Audi B5 S4. I don't know if the people are familiar with how amazing this car was yeah. for Audi or for all wheel drive cars in general. One thing that everybody always says is how unreliable Audis and Volkswagens are. People like to make fun of that and stuff. This car has 235,000 miles on it. It takes a lot for cars to get to that. Talk that smack, bro. Yeah. Tell them people always <laughs> talking that they're unreliable. If you take care of them and you work on them and get them rolling, they'll last forever. Everyone in the comments, you guys think that Audis are unreliable. If you do, I got a guy who's got if a bone do, to pick. How did I have an A4 with 280,000 miles? Another one with 250,000 miles. An A8 with 180,000 miles. <laughs> They run, man. You just gotta work on them. So this, I mean, this is all destroyed, obviously, but these pop up and spray off the headlights, and I can see the the hose is just plugged with a bolt in here. Oh, I see it now. And that's beautiful work. Yeah, that, that's nice engineering on it right there. So are these caps aftermarket caps that you can no, buy and you paint that's them? That's original, original paint. They just came like that, dude. Finding one of these, good luck. <laughs> good luck. People well, lose them and they're gone all the time. That's a bummer. To find one of these bumpers, seriously, a holy. People want twelve hundred dollars for a oh nice my. Bumper. God, like in the realm of bumpers though, that's actually not that much. Well, they were gonna 000. scrap this car for nothing, but like finding a bumper for one of these cars is very difficult. And it's one of my favorite bumpers that Audi ever did too. A lot of guys put the RS4 bumper on here and it doesn't look right on the sedans because that's for the wide body RS4 Vance. But uh, we're gonna make it look okay. Rise from the dead. He was under there. Holy smokes. You think it's gonna roll? I don't know. We got it hooked up, tight enough. Let's see. Alrighty. Oh, like butter. We might need the wood planks. For the front bumper? Ooh, I don't have those. We can find wood here. There's, there's a junkyard, dude. There's tons of stuff. So RJ forgot our blocks of wood hey, because man, come on. he's a fool. So now we gotta use this. For the record, it's under the Studebaker. He went and garbage picked like usual. Yeah, that's big... fine. Oh, we're gravy now. I love these cars, dude. This thing is seriously. It's rough, but it's such a beautiful car. So when we finally got the car back to our shop, we realized the reason why it was at the scrapyard is because it was in a flood. And you can see a lot of the remnants of that either on the wheels, on the paint, but mostly on the inside of the car. And to be completely honest with you guys, it smelled like urine. And I'm not saying like mouse or any kind of animal urine. It smelled like human urine. And as we started taking the car apart, you'll hear us talk more about that. But hopping into the question of the video, leave your answers in the comments below. But what is your favorite Audi of all time. I plan on hopefully one day getting a V10 R8. That's my dream car. But leave yours in the comments below. And if you don't like Audis at all, tell me why. Me out and peed on that side of the car. Brian, get down there and smell it. I think as a joke, someone pulled like just decide, oh, I'm just gonna pee on the floor. I don't know. Possibly. I don't know. It's definitely urine. What are you working on, RJ? RJ is currently trying to get the seat out and uh, it's not going well because this car was underwater. So it's definitely underwater so and under pee. Under, it's probably covered this is probably in a lake of pee. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. Man, it's crazy because when we first started making these videos, it would take us like six hours to do an interior. And then we started to do full details inside and out. It would be 10 hours. So we'd get them done. You know, it'd be a whole entire day. And then we started to polish the car. So now it's 12 hours. Now it takes us a whole day to pretty much tear the car apart because uh, they're in such bad shape. And we're still not done because Mike's gonna have to climb back there to get the trunk hood open. So a super common problem with these B5 S4s is the lock in the trunk gets all um, corroded. People push them in like this. You see how this is like this, just in there. We can't turn it. I can't even pull it out. They don't have a lever inside to unlock the trunk. So I'm actually gonna have to remove the whole interior panel and then I pop it open. So I gotta crawl in there. A lever? Lever. <laughs> a lever. Climbing in here. This whole beauty panel is just held on by Phillips screws. So now we got everything out and it should just pop right out. Open it right up. Whoa! Dude, should I hit him with the... Whoa! <laughs> what should we name him? I don't know, but he's not gonna survive the detail. Wow, dude. Sorry. Yeah, he will. All right, so with everything torn apart, we'll start finally detailing the car, beginning with sucking out everything in the jams and in the engine bay, and then we'll move on to actually pressure washing off this car. 
And now a word from our sponsors. All right, real quick, we want to say thank you to this video sponsor, ShipStation. And guys, let me level with you real quick. If you have an e-commerce store and you sell items on Etsy or maybe Shopify or Amazon or Walmart or eBay or here 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 or here. But imagine you sell products on all these different platforms and you have to then batch and print all the different shipping labels from all these different websites. You can print all the shipping labels from all the different platforms. They'll print out right at your printer and then you can slap them onto your packages and take them to the post office. It saves you time and it saves you money. Also, it'll save you money because not only will it show all your orders, but it will also show you the best delivery options and the best prices. And you can get up to 84% off of UPS or USPS shipping costs. And let's be real guys, honestly, how many times have you gone and looked to purchase an item from somewhere online and realized after you went and had the item in your cart and were about to check out that the shipping cost was too high or was gonna take too long? Don't let your business suffer from people leaving items in their cart. And when it comes to business, you need to be fast, efficient, and productive. And ShipStation is going to help you do that. So with that being said, go to ShipStation.com slash WDDetailing and get your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com slash WDDetailing. And let's get back to the video. Let's check this cabinet filter. It's pretty gross. You know, I've seen, well, no, it's pretty bad. I've seen worse though. At least it's clean in here. Isn't the cabin air filter directly correlated to how it smells when your AC is on inside yeah. the car? Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. yeah, actually for everyone at home, there's two things that you should look for is when you have a lot of odors, all this organic matter gets stuck in your filters that can rot away and it can start making your car smell moldy or mildewy. Um, but another thing too is with this much clogging up your filter, your fan has to work twice as hard and it's not gonna blow nearly as well as if you had a clean filter. If it's hot and the AC is not blowing very well, your, your fan's not blowing very well in your car, check your cabinet filter. Usually very cheap to fix and usually, usually pretty easy to change. Those are like 12 or $13 at AutoZone and really not hard to change. It's an easy thing that everybody should do. It's better for your health too. Do me a favor real quick, if you guys are enjoying this type of video with more of us talking and our personalities in it more, leave a like on it and also let us know your opinions. RJ, what do you think caused all of this on the paint? Oh, I mean, it's definitely just sun fading. Over time, the clear coat dries out and cracks apart, and unfortunately... Um, like, what about all these marks? I don't know about this. This is, uh, I mean, this is definitely clear failing as well, but it's weird how it's failed in the pattern that it's failed in. My assumption is that this is the precursor to this, and then the final stage is this.
as we're rinsing the soap away, look at how beautiful that color of that paint is. What do you think is the best color on a car? And while we have the pressure washer out, we'll go ahead and spray out the door jams as well. And we're gonna try our best not to get too much water inside the car, but again, it doesn't really matter because the inside is trashed anyways, and we're gonna clean it all. So I'm gonna have to test you guys here. Do you know what engine's inside this car? Now after washing the car, we went ahead and we iron decontaminated it and used our clay mitts. But moving into the car, you can clearly see it was filled with water. And like we've been saying, it smelled so bad in there. So we wanted to instantly get to work and start getting rid of some of that smell. <laughs> All right, guys, I found something that I've never seen before in a car. Uh, not this, although this is very nice. It's like brand new, so Audi first aid kit, which is really cool that they put it back there. And then I opened this up and pulled this out. And I don't know what it is. It has uh, like a fill nozzle right here. I'm assuming for air, but I don't understand what you would need a big tube of air for. I have no idea. It's a life raft. Maybe, I don't even, maybe, but how would you blow it up in time? What would it be for? I don't know, maybe it's a body bag for all the uh, 40 roll races uh, and the souls that he took. I don't know, drop a comment down below uh, because I'm seriously super curious. I'm sure we can Google it, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll read the comments. Yeah, weird. Now moving on to the extraction, we still get this comment a lot. We only use water in our extractor. We don't put any soap in it, strictly water. And if you guys are curious about any of the products or tools you see us using in our videos, it's all in the description below. Now this is the fun part. Watch how satisfying and amazing this leather cleaning is.
Now moving on to this muddy trunk, the first thing we're gonna do is pop the cap out of the drain hole and then we're gonna spray APC all over and let it dwell for a little bit so it can loosen up that dirt. And we're gonna use our pressure washer to start spraying that away, followed by the vacuum and a microfiber towel to get it all dry. Hey, hit the gritty. What's your best gritty? I don't know, bro. My gritty days are over. Let him cook. Hey, RJ. Huh? I'm cooking. You're cooking, pal. Cook. What's cook. in there? I thought you guys might enjoy seeing us acting stupid, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and polish the paint finally and finish up the detail. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like and also subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And with that being said, we'll see you guys next Saturday.